Hey everyone, Andrew Pika here, drummer for the Andy Needham Band. I wanted to give you a quick review on a new microphone I've been using with our acoustic shows on my cajon. Uh, the microphone is the Audix ADX60 boundary microphone, as you can see right here. Uh, the reason I picked this guy up was because um, prior to it, I'd been using the Shure Beta 52 on my cajon, and we've been putting it on a bass drum mount and just sticking it in the hole of the cajon. And it was working, and it wasn't really. It was working definitely to get that bass response, but it wasn't giving us a lot of the high-end snap um, in the full frequency range that the cajon produces. And um, not to mention that it was sitting on the stand right by where my leg sits on my cajon, um, the sound port is on the side of the cone, not the back of it. And so you can imagine my leg is getting very close to knocking that microphone around all the time. So I started looking for alternate options and I found the Audix ADX60 as well as the LP Cajon Miking System Kit. And uh, so I picked them up. It ran me about $200 to do so, um, a little over. And uh, so when you get the Audix, ADX microphone comes with the microphone, the little boundary microphone. Get a nice little pouch for it. And it comes with a 25 foot cable, a really light cable, and the preamp. So it does it is a condenser microphone, it does require phantom power. And uh, the cable is super light, which is nice and super long, so that um, it can run long distances uh, without having to tether a bulky um, XLR cable to it. So it came with all that. And then the LP Cajon Miking System, uh, which I found um, online through a series of YouTube videos and whatnot, uh, is just this piece of, well, it's plastic, I believe, but it looks like wood. It actually has a nice finish on it uh, with a strip of Duralock on the bottom and Velcro on the back. And so you take the Velcro that comes in the kit, the other side of it, uh, you put the square on the back of your Audix ADX, and then you just stick it right onto the mounting system and it is on there very snug so now my Audix um, mic is mounted on there uh, you take your cable mine's wrapped up so I won't unwrap it but um, and it fits right underneath it it just goes to the side it doesn't put any um, it's not bending the cable at an extreme angle and it actually fits very nicely um, and then what this happens with this, I'm going to take out the cable for a second is on my cajon you see that there's a strip of Duralock that came with the kit that I put on my cajon and then all I need to do when I roll into a gig is I take out my cajon I'll take this out of the pouch and it snaps right into the Duralock. And there you go. It's right over the hole. My cable runs out. Um, usually sits behind me. And now all of a sudden, I have this mounted microphone um, on my cajon that as I move my cajon, if I tilt, if I swirl around my cajon, um, I have snares on the front uh, and nothing on the back. If I want like a dead woody sound, which is actually pretty cool in a lot of situations, um, I can just pick my cajon up, flip it around, um, do whatever, uh, without having to worry about my mic placement uh, changing, which is a huge benefit for me and one of the reasons I bought this cajon. One thing to note is that when you get this kit, it is very important to find the sweet spot on your cajon. Um, and what I mean by that is where do, can you place the microphone to get the best um, frequency response for your drum. With mine, it just so happened that the putting the microphone over the hole um, did the job uh, with some cajones that might give you too much bass and not enough high end. Um, I've seen artists mount it on the corner. Um, that kind of evens out the, uh, the bass response with the snap. So you kind of have to mess with that. So I just had a buddy of mine hold it while we played around. But uh, found out that the best spot for my cajon was the center. So listen to these examples and kind of decide for yourself. That was the one thing that uh, as I was doing my shopping around that I couldn't find any audio examples, which is what really matters. Convenience is great, but if it doesn't sound good, it doesn't really get you anywhere in the live show. 
So uh, listen to these examples and make a decision for yourself. Leave comments, ask me questions. I'd be happy to answer them.